Hello, hello everyone. Good evening. We would like to welcome you to the Nove's Real Estate Investing Education Program launch webinar. We are so excited that you joined us tonight. My name is Shanae McCambry and I am the Director of Operations with Nove. Um, I am also joined by my partner, and VP of Sales and Acquisition, Mr. Hazik Ali. He's also going to be our co-host tonight. And finally, our newest member of our team and Nove Real Estate Investment Education Program Executive Trainer, Mr. Tim Bell himself. Hey, thank you. Thank, thank you so much. You know, it's really a pleasure to be here. I'm so excited about this program. You know, I have to tell you, uh, I'm really, really enthusiastic and excited about the Nove Real Estate Education Program. The nature of Nove is just uh, second to none. You know, the, the idea of, um, of the family orientation, the, uh, the fact that, that this is not for people who are, you know, hoity-toity and born with a silver spoon in their mouth. And this is for normal people. For the common man to do this, the common man and the common woman can do this. That was my orientation. You know, I I, I know that that uh, Rico and and Shanae and Hazik know my story, and some of the rest of you may know my story. But uh, I I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth. I, I came from just a regular working class family. Uh, I, I'm old, <laughs> and so back in the back in the the fifties and sixties and seventies. My mom stayed home because in those days moms could. Nowadays, a lot of moms can't, mm. and that's frankly one of the reasons why we recommend a lot of people get, excuse me, get involved in real estate investment so that you can have an opportunity for parents to be home with their kids. That's a great reason to do that, and that's one of the reasons why I've enjoyed uh, having you know my wife home and things because of real estate investment. I, like many people in the program, did not grow up with financial literacy, but I did have the advantage of mentors, of people that helped me. And, you know, we all know that even the greatest athletes have coaches. That's you know, cool. um, nobody can do it without help. You just can't. You've got to have a coach. You've got to have a consultant you've got to have somebody that can help you someone that's been there before and that knows what to do that's how it works that's how it's always worked and so you you've got to do that and so again that's the type of thing that we're going to talk about tonight and it's really important that you embrace that concept and that idea and that's one of the things that I love about Nove in general is that Nove is here to help you with the financial concepts that you need to be successful. Financial concepts are not difficult, but we never learned them in school. You don't. They, they just don't teach it. And, and I feel it's important that I give back from the blessings that I've had and the benefits that I've had in my life. I, I need to give some of that back. And that's why I have, to some degree, come out of retirement to help a few people learn these things before I'm gone, because I'm not going to last forever. I understand that. Does well, that I'm so sense? glad you. Oh. Yeah, it does, and I'm so glad you decided to come out of retirement so we can work together on this. And so you kind of told us a little bit about your background, but can you tell me why you are qualified to actually consult with real estate investors? And I actually, if you don't mind sharing the, you share your story about how you and your best friend got into real estate, and then let us know, you know, why are you know why you're qualified to actually consult. To do real estate yes thank, thank you for asking Shanae um, I as I say I grew up in a normal family my father worked for the telephone company and my mom was a stay-at-home mom well I uh, managed to graduate from high school certainly wasn't the top of the class I was the bottom but I managed to get into college and I started going to college and uh, my best friend from college and I were getting out of college for the summer it was in April of 1977. We were getting out of college for the summer. We were going to take a summer break. And because neither one of us was rich or financially well off, we both had to get jobs for the summer. And so we were sitting in McDonald's. We were eating our lunch. 
and we're brainstorming ideas. This is in April of 1977. We were brainstorming ideas for our summer employment. We were trying to figure out what we were going to do for our summer employment. And you know how brainstorming goes. You sit around, you throw out just whatever comes into your head. Anything wild and crazy, anything goes with brainstorming, right? And so I said, well, maybe we could do something with real estate. Now, my best friend from college, his name was Gary. And Gary said, well, you know, my dad does that. And I said, really? He says, yeah. And you know what? I bet you he'd be willing to help us, says Gary. And I said, that's great. This was on a Wednesday. On Saturday morning, we sat down on the couch in Gary's father's living room, and we convinced Gary's dad to teach us how to, to, to do a real estate investment with us over the summer. Now, Gary was a couple of years older than me. He was, uh, he had graduated from high school about five years before that. And for the previous five years, his father had been trying to get him involved in the family business. See, Gary's father was a real estate investor. Wow. I didn't know that. I just thought he was a nice rich guy. <laughs> so, so for the past five years, Gary's father had been trying to get him involved in the family business of real estate investment, but he didn't want to get involved in real estate investment. Why? Well, it was the family business. You know how a lot of kids don't want to be involved in the family business. Right. They grew up with it. They're sick of it. They don't want to hear it. So they go want to go do something else. Well, when his best friend from college all of a sudden brings up the, the real estate investment, the family business, all of a sudden he's interested. So we, uh, we sat down on the couch and, and Gary's father agreed to do a real estate investment with us over the summer. So over the next couple of weeks, we start looking for a place and he did everything for us on that first deal. He helped, he helped us find it. He helped us uh, uh, analyze it. He helped us find funding for it. He did everything for us. But he showed us each step of the way exactly what he was doing. And then we found a property, and we closed a couple of days after Memorial Day in uh, the first couple of days in June. Now, our contribution was to work on the property. We were both a couple of handy kids. Um, it needed work. Obviously, we were doing a fix and flip. That was the strategy we were doing. And it needed work. And I was handy. Um, I knew how to paint houses because I'd done that with my dad. And Gary was really good with tools. And so our, our contribution to this three-way partnership between me and Gary and his father was to do the fix-up on the property. So we spent the summer of 1977 fixing up that property. We tore out carpet. We tore out cabinets. We, and, and then we tore out a few walls, and then we rebuilt the property all back up. And then in the middle of August or toward the end of August, as we started, as we got it all done, we finally put the property back on the market, and we sold it. Now, we, when it sold, just about a week before we were scheduled to go back to school, we sold it, and we each made $9,700. In, yeah, in 1977, $9,700 was a lot of money. In fact, you could buy a new Corvette in 1977 for less than $9,700. I was tempted to do that. I didn't do that, but I was tempted to. So needless to say, that was a lot of money. And yeah. we were very, very impressed that real estate investment was a good thing. And that was an indelible impression on us. It certainly took on me, and frankly, it took on Gary. Because to this day, Gary is a commercial real estate investor. <laughs> now, he and I parted ways after a couple of years, and he went and did commercial real estate investment. He was kind of like, you know, your basic Donald Trump Jr., you know. He went out and did commercial buildings and all that. I, on the other hand, focused more on fix and flip and, and doing houses and and that kind of stuff for a long time. But, but we basically both were so impressed by the amount of money we made on that first deal that we both stayed in that for many, many years. I and love that. I love that. Yeah. And, and yeah. Yeah, thank you very much so, for that answer. That, that, that inspired me even more. And I had heard the story before. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he, it's almost like uh, that rich dad, poor dad story. 
You know, it's so funny. I, I when I read Rich Dad Poor Dad many years later, I thought, wait a minute, that's kind of <laughs> like my story. I yeah. had I had my friend's father who was a, a real estate investor, and I had my own dad who was just a hardworking, you know, uh, you know, a, a, a guy that worked for the telephone company. Yeah. And my dad, my dad thought that's what you did. You get a job and you just work for 30 or 40 years and then you retire. And that's what my dad thought. He didn't know any other way. Yeah. And so I learned another way from my friend's father. I'm and really impressed with it, man, because it, it, even the fact that you broke down how he did everything for you guys, like helped you find it, helped you analyze it, and then helped you get the funding. It almost sounds like that's the exact prototype for this program. <laughs> so that's just yeah. crazy. How you're what it is is what it is. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's how I learned it. We yeah, always say exactly learn, learn. We always say learn, earn, return. And you're really like a great example of that. Like, thank you so much for this, uh, Tim Bell. So, so, so out of all of the ways that somebody could get started in the world of real estate, uh, why would you say that wholesaling is a place to begin? And then well, what does someone have to look forward to with this wholesaling uh, part of the education program? Okay, wholesaling is a great place to start if you don't have a lot of resources and if you don't have a lot of knowledge or information, okay? Because with wholesaling, in most cases, you don't actually own the property. Basically, what you're doing is you're finding a property where there's an opportunity there, you're tying up the property, in other words, you're controlling the property, and then you're passing that property on to someone else who wants to do either the fix and flip or the buy and hold strategy. Yeah. And so you don't have to have a, you don't have to have a lot of money to do that with. The fix and flip person has to have money. The <laughs> fix and flip person has to have or have access to money. The fix and flip person has to have the time to go in and do the fix and flip. They have to have the resources, either the financial resources to hire someone to do the, the fix and flip or the time resources to do the fix themselves or the skill and the skill resources to do the fix themselves or they've got to have a lot more resources. They've got to have financial resources and they've got to have the patience. I mean, my average fix and flip nowadays, and I don't do very many of them anymore, um, but my average fix and flip ends up being three and a half to four months. Well, if you think about that, you're putting in time, effort, energy, money, and resources, and you're not getting paid. You're putting in effort and effort and effort, and you're not getting paid. And, and if, you do, uh, if you do a fix and flip that takes more than five or six or seven months, it gets really long in the tooth you start thinking, oh my goodness, I'm putting in all this energy and effort and I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing any money coming in. But just saying so, with wholesaling, we don't have to go through any of oh, that. No. Kind of my, my average wholesale deal, I get paid in somewhere two to three weeks. Wow. And, and you know, you know what, Hazik, I have actually gotten paid on a wholesale deal in four hours, four <laughs> hours. Now, I don't want to give people the wrong impression. I don't want to tell you that that's the average or that you're going to get paid on in four hours on every wholesale deal you do. You do. I don't want to give you the wrong impression, but I have gotten paid. I, I put a property under contract at 10 a.m. I called up one of my buyers. He met me at 2 p.m. We signed the paperwork and I had a check in my hand at 2 p.m. that same day, four hours. I love that. I love that. I love that. More than once. Man, listen, these are some of the best and brightest that the nation has to offer right here. So they, they are they are ready and willing. And I'm going to tell you, uh, uh, Mr. Bell, you have not found some hungrier students. Our whole goal is saving the middle class. Our whole goal is closing a wealth gap by closing the ownership gap. And uh, we're, we're really happy that you're here. Yeah, and that's, that, yeah. I, I will tell you, Hazik, that's really important. I, I got to tell you right up front, that's important to me because, frankly, I don't want to work with people that aren't motivated. Yeah. Right. I only want, I only work with people who are motivated and people who really want it because if they don't want it, I, I, okay, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to sound obnoxious, but mm -hmm. the truth is, I'm retired. I don't have to be here. 
I'm oh, here because no. I want to be here. I'm here because I want to give back to other people. And yeah. I only want to give back to people who are truly motivated and truly committed and interested. Well, that's the other people I want to work with, frankly. I'm yeah. sorry. I know that sounds that makes no, sense. I mean, that's, that makes perfect sense. So, and I know you, I heard you say one thing earlier, and, 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 I, and I gather that it sounds like you're saying that, you know, you can get started in investing into real estate, you know, and not have to have that much money. Now, I know yes, there's no. a lot of people who would like to know more about that. And I know you also mentioned fix and flips. And, 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 and for me, that's actually one of the areas that I'm excited about because, um, I love watching shows on fix and flips and some of the opportunities that, that comes from that. And, and for those individuals who are watching, you know, the same things as me, you know, some of the shows that like, I love to see are like going for sold or dream home makeovers. Or yeah. upper I, or flop. So, I, I, mean, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, Shanae, <laughs> over, over the last five years, see prior to doing this, prior to retiring, I spent about five years going all over the United States, teaching seminars uh, and, and teaching people. I was doing about 40 to 45 seminars a year. Mm -hmm. Do the math. There's 52 weeks in a year. That's right. Okay, so I'm, I did a lot of traveling. That's how I got to meet a lot of the good folks in Georgia. I've been to every state. I've done them in every state in the United States. And, and I got to meet a lot of the good folks that do those shows. Uh, I, I, and, and I love those shows, too, because they do good things for the community. I mean, you look at, and I, I'm, uh, I, I hesitate to, to say people's names, but, but I'm sure that everybody here knows Chip and Joanna from Wake. Yes. Oh, I love okay. you. <laughs> I, I love Chip and Joanna. They're, they're such nice people. And the really cool thing about Chip and Joanna is they are just like they are on TV when you meet them in person. Oh, that's They're so just cool. genuine, loving, sweet people. But just as, just as an example, they have single – and you can look this up. It's on record. They have single-handedly um, saved – the economy of Waco, Texas. Yeah. I mean, I mean, they just, yeah. And all because they wanted to do good things for themselves and oh, for their kids. That's so, yeah, and that's just one example. There's there's many other people like that yeah. that are on TV and are not on TV who do yeah. things like that. And I think the legacy aspect and the helping your community aspect is incredibly important. Yep. And so I'm with you on that, Shanae. Please, 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 Shanae, do not hear that I don't like fix and flip. <laughs> I love fix and flip. In fact, I will tell you honestly that my focus for many, many, many years was on fix and flip. Oh, Why? Because I made a lot more money on fix and flip. So you do. You make more money on fix and flip than you do on wholesaling. And if you have the resources to do fix and flip, you shouldn't wholesale. Do fix and flip. Okay, let's say I want to fix and flip. And I love, I love all of that. I've been in a couple of them, but... If let's say that's it, what would you say the real estate investing strategy that works for that? And and if someone is also interested in that, why would they get into this program to learn more? So like, what's the strategy, and you know, they can learn more from the program. Why? Well, you're you're gonna learn you're gonna learn the things you should focus on and the things you should stay away from in fix and flip. I've been doing it for for forty four years. Um, I, I go through I go through all the various different things that you should focus on, the things that you should stay away from, because people make so many mistakes in fix and flip. You know, part of the and I love the shows, but part of the problem is they got to cram everything into a thirty or forty minute or you know show. Thank and you. it's just Thank not you. that easy. Oh no. my goodness! They don't show you all the snags. <laughs> They don't, and we go through all of that stuff so that you're not making those mistakes. Yeah. Because, and, and, and like I say, I love the shows, but remember, real estate reality TV is not real. Come on. It's reality TV. Yeah. And so they add drama, they add problems and different things. Because remember, uh, to a person, I have not met all the people on reality TV shows. I have met many of them, though. And to a person, they are genuine, caring, loving, 
excellent, outstanding investors, but they are subject to a director, a producer, and ratings. Come on. Okay, and the only thing that gets them ratings is drama. That's right. Yeah. Okay, my idea is completely opposite of their director and their producer. I say, let's eliminate drama. Let's take steps to eliminate drama and make it as smooth as we can. Life is already drama filled enough without having your fix and flips filled with drama too. I love it. So let's take steps in advance to make sure we eliminate your drama so that you're not having that contractor come to you and say, oh, by the way, I found this and this. It's going to cost you an extra 10 grand. No, we don't want to go there. Yeah. We have all this stuff planned in advance so that it goes as smooth as possible so that you're not dealing with the... I'm glad that you gave that spin that some of the things are, you know, really exaggerated for TV. But even yeah. if it does happen, you can learn how to handle it, you know, with, with the program. That that was it, Ozzy. It's and, on and you. But no, I, no, I, no, I, I love that point, Shanae, because going through the curriculum, which obviously we had a chance to do in advance, it is so precise like it just blew my mind how some of these because you know sometimes this stuff seems scary because you don't understand the terminology you don't understand the vocabulary you don't get like the concepts but listen once you understand it it's almost like ah oh, what have they been teaching me my whole life like, <laughs> you're, exactly right, right. See, oh. you're exactly right yeah, yeah. Well, once you get it down, and we're going to take you through it, and you're going to understand it. You're going to go, oh, my goodness. This is not rocket science or brain surgery. I can do this. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I'm real passionate about that you and Sinead just brought up is this whole legacy building thing, right? And, and I know that there's a specific strategy. You touched on it a little bit earlier called buy and hold. Can you kind of share with everybody how you can buy a home? let somebody else pay off the mortgage, and then the next thing you know, you got multiple homes. Break down house hacking. <laughs> Tell them a little bit about house hacking and this whole buy and hold strategy. Well, you just, it's, it's an awesome thing because you buy properties and you, uh, I'm not gonna tell you about me, but I'm gonna tell you about my friend, Kyle. <laughs> I have a friend named Kyle, and he's a couple years older than me, and he started buying properties and he, um, he only has, last time I talked, I haven't talked to him for a couple of years because we kind of lost track of each other. But he only has 255 properties last time I talked to him. And what he started doing, yeah, 255, and he specialized in single family homes. Okay, he didn't want duplex, triplex, fourplex, he didn't want apartments, he wanted single family homes. And so he started buying 200, he started buying single family homes and he owns, last time I talked to him about five or six years ago, he owned 255. And what he started doing and was paying them off. And so what he would do is he would buy a property and then he would rent it out. And he would gradually raise the rents over the years. And then he would use the rent raises and everything to pay off the properties. And so he would use the rent increases to pay off the properties. And he'd pay off one property, another property, another property, another property. He finally got 255 properties paid off. Now, he told me that his average cash flow on each property is about $1,000 a month. A month. That's $255,000 after all of his costs, after taxes, after property management. By the way, he does not manage his properties himself. He hires professional property management. So after all of that property management and taxes, insurance, everything maintenance repairs everything he nets a thousand dollars a month per property times 255 properties how much is that two hundred fifty-five thousand dollars a month now, you can't that, <laughs> but it, it might buy you a few cups of coffee at starbucks right yeah and all because he started buying single family homes, just one here, one there, one here, one there, and it just started to blossom and mushroom for him. Mm. All he does is call his property management company once a month and say, how are things going? He gets a couple of spreadsheet reports from them. And 
That's all he does. Yep. <laughs> and, it, and it sounds like it's, it's that sounds like something that you just mentioned, how it's legacy building. Like I think like to me that rings in my head, legacy building. Is there another example of a story that you can tell us about another individual that comes to mind that, that has success by going through a program similar to what they'll be going through with us here? Well, somebody <laughs> out there scared, Shanae. Somebody out there heard 250 homes and they're like, oh, that's for the other guy. That, that's okay. for that other person, you know? I, 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 was I mean, but what if it was 10 homes? How does they think about it? What if it was only 10 homes? I mean, two. That, two. So somebody <laughs> having $2,000 that's just coming in, you just got to call the property manager. I two mean, properties that are going up in value as they right. start putting all this fake money into the economy and property values start to skyrocket. Real yep. estate goes up with inflation rates. <laughs> so but, but imagine if they would have went through a program like this and Tim, you know, he's about to share the, the examples with us, but think about it. They would go through the program like this. He's able to show them what to watch out for. Here are tricks that you need to do. This is what you should do. This is how you should handle it. And boom. <laughs> so so can, you, can you give me a story, another example story of like, you know, that yes. went through the like this? Yes, I didn't want to tell this one because, <laughs> because the lady's name is Shanae. It's the same as yours. I'm sorry. You asked me for another story. That means it's, it's going to be great. <laughs> so Shanae lives in Texas. She's, she's a single mom. And she has a pretty rough story. It's, she's had a hard life. And, but she took her, she, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you another one too. But anyway, Shanae she had she was able to to get some money from an insurance settlement that she had and she signed up for for the program and she went out and she got she actually bought a fourplex i showed her some things that she needed to buy a fourplex she got the seller to carry back the financing cuz the seller she had to search a lot but she found somebody who just didn't want the fourplex anymore she found the fourplex and she um, she found out uh, she she did a lot of searching for this person, but she it was it was in bad shape. But she found it, and this person um, she 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 found somebody else who would invest with her to get the fix up done. She mm -hmm. actually partnered with a contractor, and he did all the work on the property to fix it up and bring it back into rentable condition. And that's one technique you teach, right? Of course, yeah. you're, you're con a, on a fix and flip or a buy and hold, your contractor is one of your best partners mm. because in many cases, they're willing to put in the, the fix up yeah. work yeah. because remember, they have cheap access to labor and materials that you don't have. Come on. So everybody so caught that. Partner. I hope everybody caught that. So finish telling us about Sinead Okay, so anyway, so she bought this fourplex from the seller, with, and the seller was willing to carry. All she did was pay payments to the seller. Nothing down, no down payment. He just wanted out because the place was totally abandoned. It was totally unoccupied. She didn't have any rent. The, the seller didn't have any rent coming in anyway. That's right. So she made, him, she made him wait for payments for a couple of months. She partnered with a contractor. The contractor came in and fixed it up so it was rentable. A little bit of pain little bit of flooring and stuff just so it was rentable that's right so then she went out and she and she even advertised it for rent before it was even finished so she knew she had tenants coming in nice. and she told the tenants well it's not quite ready yet mm -hmm. but you can come in in like a month and a half when the contractor finished he went in he painted at his cost no cost to her then she rented it out at a good, and she did research. She knew how, she, how much she could rent it for once it was fixed up. She, it's not like she went in blind and just tripped over it. Mm -hmm. She did her, her work. She did the research that I taught her how to do. That's right. And then she rented it out. She got renters for all places. She, she sent a little bit each of the rent, a little bit each month to the contractor to pay him off for his portion. She was the owner of it. She gave him kind of a she gave him a, a mortgage on it so that he was protected. So she had a mortgage to him and she had cash flow and she had about two thousand dollars a month positive cash flow. 
Wow. Which for her was enough. It paid her bills. That's right. She got her child support from her hus ex husband and that two thousand dollars a month, she was able to pay her bills. Financial After freedom off years, one deal. I'm sorry. Financial yeah, freedom off one deal. Yeah, on one deal. Yeah. And that that saved her. That made it so that she could support herself. Well, because of that, she started going out and finding more and more properties. Last yeah. time I talked to her, I think what. I, can't, I think she had 21 properties last time I talked to her. Wow. wow. And I love that too, Tim. You keep on giving story after story where after you kind of take them through the process, those first couple of deals, they get to take the training wheels off. And they never they need me again. They don't need me anymore. That's phenomenal. Yeah, they don't. See, I, I always follow that old, we've all heard that old Chinese saying, you know, give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime. And right. of course, that comes for women too, obviously. Yeah, right. yeah. And that's what I've always followed. You yeah. know, I love it when I teach people things and they don't need me anymore. I, I don't it. want people to be dependent on me. That's right. I want to teach them and have them go out and be more successful than me. Yeah, there's another okay, thing. It's my like Billy. Yeah. I have this, this student in Florida. His name is Billy. And and you can look him. I mean, I'll I'll even tell you his last name. His name is Billy Batson. You can, I'm not supposed to tell you his last name, but Billy won't mind. He's a very friendly guy. Yeah. Lives in Florida, and he's a tremendously successful wholesaler. He's much more successful at wholesaling than I will ever be or ever have been. And he, here's what Billy did: his dad gave him thirty thousand dollars for um, for his college tuition. And instead of spending it on college, he spent it on real estate education. His dad was angry. But now both his mother and his father work for him in his real estate investment. <laughs> I, bet, I bet his father's no longer angry. <laughs> He's not angry anymore. Yeah. That's I really. love stories like that, man. And, I, and and you have so many of them. Every time uh, we talk to you, there, there are more stories. And, um, you know, I, I, I want to give them, but before we start um, kind of breaking down the three different ways that people can get started with this program, I was wondering if you could kind of, because I just got this feeling in my spirit that someone's watching this right now and in their mind, they're thinking that this is going to be complex. They're thinking this is going to be like, you know, <laughs> can you kind of walk them through just how simple this program makes it for a client to go from zero to real estate investor? I well, mean, I all, hear people in their mind, they're saying to themselves, well, how do I keep track of what step I'm on? I hear them saying to themselves like, hey, well, 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 how do I decide what to do first? And, and, and hey, how do the classes work? And, and I'm going to take them through it a little bit. But can you kind of just illustrate for them a little bit about how simple your system has made this? Because when you get done, I'm going to tell them what you normally charge before you came out of retirement. You're almost doing philanthropy for us, Mr. Bell. And we really appreciate it. You know, it. one of my favorite documents that is in the uh, that is in the member center is called wholesaling step by step. And that's one of the things that I recommend people start with because Hazik, like you, I, I, I'm a step by step checklist kind of a person. Yeah, man. Okay. Um, but when I was 16 years old, I went out to the airport and I took flying lessons. I, I've always been interested in airplanes and flying and I've, I've flown 17 different types of airplanes in my oh, life. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, and I love to fly. And um, so I went out and I took flying lessons. And I don't know if you know this or not, but pilots use checklists to make sure that they don't forget to do anything important when they're flying an airplane. Yeah. For example, when they're landing, if they forget to put the landing gear down, it could be a big problem, right? right. Yeah. yeah. So they use these checklists. And, 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 and to make sure they don't forget to do anything. Well, when I was 16, I learned that step-by-step -step checklist approach. And it really resonated with me. I said, yeah, that's me. I said, that really feels right to me. And so what I started doing is I started applying that checklist approach to lots of different things in my life. And I've applied it to many different things. 
And one of the main things that I've applied it to is real estate investment. Nice. And so in developing this course, I've kept that checklist mentality in mind. And so I, I have done it, as you say, Azik, from a step-by-step -step checklist approach. Yes. Do this, then do that, then do this, then do that. So that somebody that's new to it doesn't have to know what step 34 is when they're on right. step two. I they love just it. go step one, step two, step three, trusting that they'll get to step 34. Yeah. And so you can just do it step by step. You don't need to know everything right. to, to take step one and step two. You know, another, I hate to keep uh, hitting on the Chinese proverbs, but another one is another the, one the, a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. Yeah, right. I like that one too. <laughs> but if you're so afraid to take the first step, you'll never get the thousand miles. There you go. So that's why we've broken it down into a step-by-step -step process that you can follow. Plus, as we consult with you, if you have any confusion or, 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 or any questions about, well, wait a minute, what's my next step? If it's not perfectly clear, we can help clarify you and get you back on the path. One of the things that kind of stuck out for me is, and for those of you who have actually been around me for many years, and I'm pretty sure Rico can tell you, I'm kind of OCD. And so I like to be able to- I am to too. Right. So, <laughs> you know, look, I mean, I in the program, I was like, okay, I need to know, all right, what I'm going to do, it needs to be laid out. It needs to be user-friendly. I don't want to read this and I got to go, okay, let me go look up what this word means and then come back to the program. I like that it's step-by-step. -step. I like, you know, that it's organized and, you know, but one of the things that I really also like about it and, and you kind of touched on it, it's organized step-by-step. -step. But then you said, if you have questions, that's why you have the help through this program. And so for me, I mean, I, I like that it's easy and it's and, and easy in terms of being able to to grasp and you made it so plain sure. and say, okay, this is it. Here's what you got to do. Here's the next one. Here's what you got to do. Cause there's nothing, there's nothing worse than going through something. And as you're going through it, you feel like you got to go take another course to realize what you just read, but it makes it so easy. Yeah. You're, you're absolutely right. Shanae. You know what? Another one of my interests in life, I, 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 I'm, I'm OCD, but I also have ADHD to some degree. So I go, boom, boom, boom. I'm, I'm, I, I am, I have focused on being a lifelong learner. I read about one book a month and I've done that for 60 years, ever since I can read. And, and one of the things, uh, and, and so I, I do lots of different things and I have lots of different interests. Well, I, I, many years ago, I found this stock market trainer because I got interested in the stock market too. And I found this stock market trainer and it was extremely frustrating because I would take his course and then I'd get right to the end of the course and he would say, oh, <laughs> you want the final answer and the final information? Oh, you need to take the next course. I hate that. Oh, oh, I hate it. Word. I hated that. And then I would pay for the next course and I'd get right to the end of that, and he'd say, now, if you want the real final answer, you yeah, have to make the next course. And I'd go, ah! That's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> oh, I was so angry. Sorry. Uh, sorry. No, but I get it. Okay, I think, I'm sorry. I know I just jumped in there, but I just had to say it, because I know there's a lot of people out there who have my same type of OCD little you know thing going on. Yeah. So I just wanted to relate to everybody out there for a second and say, you know, it's plain, it's organized. Okay, Hazi, I'm, I'm, you're, you got it. You're, oh you're man, it. That, that was perfect. That was a perfect answer because I'm just like you. We're yeah. kindred spirits, dear. Yes. Everyone's in the comments going OCD, OCD, <laughs> OCD, yes. and we have a lot of people that feel like you know. Like, like they say, you, you know, you could put a genius in a foreign country and a fifth grader is going to beat that genius to the location every time if he has a map. That's right. <laughs> you put the genius yeah. in, with a, man, a fifth grader could beat the genius to that location with a map on a napkin because, damn it, we just need to know where to go. <laughs> uh, I'm yeah. really, really excited about this. And, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I was going to tell you earlier. You know, these uh, uh, these packages, right? 
And and I don't want y'all, you know, if, if, if when Mr. McCambry's birthday comes around, maybe y'all want to shoot him a birthday card, right? Because this has a lot to do with Mr. Rico McCambry, you know, Brad, who you guys are going to meet, and then Tim, uh, uh, who, who you guys got to meet tonight. But these packages are normally thirty, forty, and sixty thousand dollar packages, y'all. These are normally thirty, forty, and sixty thousand dollar packages. When Tim was in his heyday, this is how he really made his money. Now he's a humble guy. He's somebody. I mean, many of you feel his energy. I see it in the comments. Like you understand it. This is like somebody that would be like your your your, your grandpa when he's telling his war stories and all of that. But listen, I, I tell you the truth, Hazik, I only have 14 grandchildren. <laughs> I love I'm a slacker. He always says only and then drops another bag on your head. I love that. So, yeah, um, this is like uh, we, we almost need to call this a uh, uh, rich uh, granddad, right? This is like rich. Granddad. Tim Bell is your rich granddad. And we've got three different packages with Tim and his team that are gonna kind of be walking you through. We've got a bronze package, which is great for aspiring real estate investors, okay? These are for the people that wanna learn the paths and they kind of wanna do it on their own time. They don't really need a lot of coaching and hand-holding, but they just need the basics. You, if, if that package is for you, you're the type of person that always gets in there, you 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 buy the car, you read the instruction manual, right? You, you figure out what every button in your car does. If that's you, that bronze package is for you. You're the one that gets the 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 the, the uh, box from IKEA, and you put together the whole bedroom set. That's you. If that's you, then the bronze package will work for you just fine. Then we have the silver package, y'all. The silver package is great for somebody who's hopping into it feet first. Okay, uh, they, they're ready to begin with their real estate investing career. They're ready to start right now, and they want coaching to guide them through it. Show them the ropes to skip and the ropes to know. You know, they always say the best way to make it through a landmine is what? Walk in the footsteps. <laughs> if you don't see blood, keep on going, right? So that silver packet is for you that's smart enough <laughs> to find mentorship. And you're like, man, if I don't have to waste all this money on the mistakes, then I'm going with that. And then we have a gold package. This is for the person that's all in. This is for the person that wants to go from zero to, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, millionaire. I, we gotta stop being scared of that word. So many people use that word and then they think get rich quick or they think, don't worry, this ain't no get rich quick scheme. You're gonna have to put in some work. I There's mean, work. I'm sure you're starting to get that feel from Tim. The man's been working since uh, uh, before he graduated high school. Like he was smart enough to go to his older friend and suggest real estate. You you understand the man works. Is everybody getting that vibe? So this oh, is please, Hazik. Hazik, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Hazik, <laughs> but I got to be very clear. Yeah. Real estate investment is work. It's, it's interesting work. It's well paying work. Yeah. It's flexible work. Yeah. It's fun work, but yeah. it is work. It's legacy I'm created. Glad you, I'm glad you brought that up. Right on. No, because we talk about it all the time. There are some of us who have had jobs in different places like Target, you know? And um, the reason I bring up Target is because my brother was a general manager of a Target. And you come out there, you got on your red polo shirt, you got on your khakis, and every morning there's like a team meeting. It's like, go team, right? <laughs> Everybody's like, y'all gonna do it, we go, we're gonna do it. And it's like, y'all gonna do it, we're gonna do it. And then it's like, they, they, the, the bell rings and then everybody go. And your raise is like 50 cents an hour every six months. So you're that hype, you're running, I mean, you running around a store, putting up the boxes and stuff, you're going all fast. And if you knock your evaluation out the park, every if, month, every, if, if, because you got a bunch of other real hungry ones around you, snitching like, nah, he be coming late, you know? <laughs> and, and, and if you get through all of that, 50 cents an hour, man, from $12 to $12 and 50 cents an hour, and you're working, some of you make more than $12 an hour. You're making 70000 a year. But at the cost of your relationships, at the cost of your ability to read your babies a bedtime story, right? At the cost of them knowing you when you come around, you know what I mean? What about something that allows you freedom? So I'm going to break down these packages for you real quick. 
because God knows we got some people that can hear my voice and it can see me right now that have mastered something that was minuscule. I know there are some people that can hear my voice that have majored in the minor. You heard Tim's idea of like how his father uh, uh, gave his buddy $30,000. He's like, man, I'm not going to study algebra. I can't buy no, sand. I can't even buy a sandwich with some algebra. No, what I'm gonna do is put my money into something that when I'm done working with it, it's gonna put its money into me. Instead of being active, I'm gonna be productive. I'm gonna spend my time, my energy, and my resources working on a project. The definition of a project project is when I'm done working for it, it starts working for me. If I'm not working on a project, then what I'm doing is wasting my time. Warren Buffett said something wild. He was like, I made my first investment at the age of 11. Up until then, I was wasting my life. Somebody hear me? <laughs> All right, so we got three different packages for you. Everybody write these down. Uh, the, my, the, 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 the price that I'm about to give you is mind-blowing. And again, Inbox Rico McCambry. You know, when, when you get on the phone with Mr. Bell, make sure you 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 tell him thank you because he does not have to do this. This is because he sees us as uniquely positioned to save the middle class. He looked at our model and he said, no one else is doing personal credit, business credit building, so you can begin to live off that LLC, real estate investment education, and then helping you with the funding for the deal. No one else is doing that. I got to be involved, Nove. I got to be involved. So he delivered us a price that is going to blow your mind. You know, I want you to get ready because if you're an affiliate of Nove, it's going to be even more cost effective for you. So first is bronze package. Everybody ready? <laughs> All right. The bronze package, y'all, you're getting unlimited email support. You're getting a year of access to this member center. Now, what you have to understand about the member center, y'all, is that they went through thousands of personality tests to put together the exact kind of format that you'll respond to the best. This member center has not only the curriculum, we went in there and said, hey, Tim, hey, Brad, with our crowd, what we need is we also need quizzes to make sure that they're consuming the information. So even if this bronze package is what they want to do and they can't get access to coaches, we still need them to have everything they need. They said, I'll tell you what, we're going to put in unlimited email support. We're going to give them a year of access. If you don't get this done in a year, you didn't want it. No, you're not motivated enough. Well, yeah. We're going to give you live webinar training access. I'm still in a bronze package, y'all. We're going to give you ongoing real estate investing education. And then on top of all of that, you're gonna get discounted access to the live events once outside opens back up again. How much is that worth? That would normally be a five figure investment for you. You get it for $12.95. No Vegas to offer that for $12.95, but look, it gets better. For a limited time, you get that. For only nine hundred and ninety-five dollars. Nine ninety-five. Try to give it up for that, that bronze package. Did you see Tim's face? <laughs> Are you sure you can do that? <laughs> oh, Tim didn't hear. Yet. Tim didn't hear. All right. Hey, Tim, so listen, I'm gonna cover your ears for this part. <laughs> yeah, because it gets even better, y'all. It gets even better. What you have to understand, Tim will tell you. This is one of those programs that normally they will send people to the back of the room to get more money on their credit card. You have to understand that like the, the power of these programs, a lot of people think that the cost of something like a book, right? In the old days, they would price a book at the cost of the paper it took to make the book. <laughs> that shouldn't be the price of the book. You price it based on the value. So the reason that these courses are normally five figures is because you can take this information and change your whole freaking life. Does everybody get that? So what I'm saying to you is that the silver package not only includes everything that we just now said in the bronze, but check it out. You also get coaching calls. So you're going to get a 60 minute introductory call. You're going to get eight 15 minute check-in calls. These are strategy calls where you get to talk to Mr. Bell or one of his highly qualified uh, uh, knights of the round table, okay? And you get to just pick their brain. Now, you're gonna start getting so uh, seasoned that you're gonna have pointed questions for these coaches. You're gonna have exact reasons that you're calling 
And you're going to have a list of them. And you're going to be like, what should I do with this? Hey, this is what just now happened. It's going to change your life because you've got a mentor right with you. But not only that, you're also going to get a 60 minute closing call. That means you're in the middle of the closing. You're like, hold on, let me call my coach. You walk outside and dial the number. <laughs> you get them on the phone and they walk you through all the tricks that people pull all the pitfalls you normally got to look out for. These are mistakes that normally would cost you tens of thousands of dollars. And you're getting to avoid all of that just because you have a coach. That brings me to the final package. Oh, 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 oh. So what's the cost of that? They also get a closing call. They also get a closing call. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Now, this package is only $29.95, but because you're with Nove for a limited time, that's only $24.95. $24.95 is a silver package. $24.95 is a silver package. Okay. Now, everybody said bronze is not for them. They said silver is not for me. All I saw in the comments was gold, gold, gold. All right, y'all. You want it gold? Here's your gold. <laughs> yeah. And with good reason, y'all. Because the gold involves not only everything in the bronze, you not only get everything that's in the silver, but now it gets a little bit more robust with the coaching calls. Because now you're getting not only a 60 minute introduction call, which is vital. You're getting to know your coach. You're getting to be able to share your goals. Get a, Oh, because I left something out. In the coaching process, there's a whole um, it's it's really bleeding edge technology that they're using. You're getting a whole accountability board. So you're going to see the check ins of where you are in the process, what you said you were going to be doing last time, what you said your goals were. They're laying it out, holding your hand and walking you through the jungle. So this gold package has a lot more of a robust hand holding part of the program because you're not only getting that introductory call, but you're getting 10 30 minute coaching calls. Now, you notice that wasn't even in the silver package, right? You're getting 10 30-minute coaching calls. That's vital. On top of that, you're also getting eight 15-minute calls. On top of that, you're getting two, and this is a new one, rehab calls. You're getting two of these 60-minute rehab calls. You know, the fix and flip thing is a little bit more intricate. As you begin to move up that evolutionary scale, from wholesaling through fix and flipping up the buy and hold, these are the types of interactions that can be priceless for your investing career, right? Next, you're also gonna get two 60 minute strategy calls. <laughs> so you're not only getting the two rehab calls, you're getting two 60 minute strategy calls, and then you got two 60 minute closing calls involved in that gold package. Listen to me, y'all. This is normally a $60,000 package. For Nove, it's only $6,000, y'all. And because you're here, for a limited time, it's only $49.95. So everybody give it up for that. Let me see lots of fire emojis in the comments, y'all. Round of applause. Round of applause. <laughs> Tim don't know what them fire emojis mean. Brad and them don't know that, but y'all got to teach them, man. That means we saying it's hot, Tim. That means we saying it's lit. <laughs> It's lit. <laughs> wow. And then wow. for some of you, obviously, we even have financing. For some of you, we even have financing. You, some of you know that we have no money down programs, buy now, pay here later, uh, buy now, pay later programs, where if you have a 620 credit score, if you have 3400 a month in verifiable income, you're still working with the company that makes financial success affordable. That's what we're here to do. We're here to make it comfortable for you. We're here to make it affordable for you. We're here to remove all the excuses. And if Mr. Bell's stories didn't do that for you, hopefully these prices did. Absolutely. <laughs> Man, I mean, I mean, uh, oh my goodness. So I'm, uh, I, I'm speechless because if, if this, <laughs> if this was around when I had my first couple of properties, oh, what? Oh my gosh. I don't even know. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, it, I mean, you know what, Tim, Hazik, like, this makes me just want to say, hey, I'm going to sign up. Let me go ahead and get it done, like, right now. You know, the <laughs> first thing that came in my head as you're going through the prices and after listening to Mr. Bell talk and him sharing his stories and letting us know that, you know, yeah, it's going to be work, but it's definitely going to be worth it. And, 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 and you know, 
it made me think about one of the things that Rico said when he was doing a conference call and Mr. McCamber was saying, you know, this is the year of legacy building. And, and it's, it's, to me, it's like we're starting off this year. This is the day, first day of the second month. And we're rolling out with this program that's going to help so many people begin to build their legacies, begin to work and learn and grow to be able to start legacy building. And, and if this isn't just like the perfect piece to show you that this, like what Mr. McCamber said was so true. This is the year of legacy building. And, and, and like in the end, we will only regret the chances that we didn't take. So why not take this on. on yourself to be able to start building your legacy right here, right now. You got somebody who's like an amazing, like he told you his success stories and he's and not only from himself, but people that's taking his courses. You're not even, you're not, I mean, you're paying a fraction of what he would normally charge you. And so the first thing that should come in your mind is I am worth it. The second thing that should come in your mind is I rather have a, have an oops than a what if moment, because like I said, you want to take chances on yourself. And one of the things that Rico said at his legacy um, training that he did, um, and I don't want to get into that because that was an amazing seminar that he did and we can't come together. But one of the things that he says, if you don't take a chance on yourself, then you don't stand a chance to do anything. So this is your chance to take a chance on yourself right. and start building your legacy. So, you know, I've already had a chance to go through the courses and everything, but I'm going to go back through them because I want to make sure that I learn as much as I can. I want to be able to not only have this where I'm going to start building a legacy and put it in place, but I'm going to have my nine-year-old, my nine-year-old, Lord, I'm making her go back. I'm going to have my 11-year-old go through this because I want her to learn it because as I'm out to learn how to do fix and flips or wholesaling or whatever it, I'm a, uh, whatever it is, I want her to be a part of it. So not only am I going to have this legacy that I'm going to be able to pass down, but my legacy is going to be right there with me as I'm going through this program so that I can now pass this on. And now she knows what to do. Like, like listening to all of this, it just made it just seem so clear to me. And I hope this is clicking to some of you guys out there and, and you're positioning yourself. Know they, as long as, as um, with Mr. Bell, we're positioning this for you to be able to do that exactly. You now have all the tools with Know They. Now Mr. Bell's coming on to make it even better to build that legacy that he was talking about. Right. So as we tie this all up, I want, Tim, if you don't mind sharing with everyone right now, given what was happening in our economy, you know, what's going on, why is, now, and I know people are probably asking this, so it's perfect. Why is now the right time? Why is now the ideal time to start building real estate businesses or at least starting to learn how to get into real estate and do the different things and learning how to build a real estate business? Why is now the perfect time? For that if you don't mind sharing this I'm, I'm happy to share that with you i want to say two things first though if i may Sinead. number one um i i went down to arizona to put my arm around my 11 year old grandson and teach him about real estate so i'm with you on that that's that's why i was there among other things but that's one of the reasons why i was there so i'm with you on that one the other thing is 2020 for most folks was so bad we all wanted to make it go away. We all wanted to forget it. But you know what? It's like you said, Shanae, unless, and, it's, and it's, it's like Rico says, unless you do something to make 2021 better, it's not going to get any better. Come on. You've got to take a positive step and do something different. Absolutely. You've got to make it happen. And the education can help you to make it happen. So I just want to say those two things. Now, why is now the best time? Well, first of all, Everybody got so discouraged with 2020. Everybody's gotten discouraged with COVID and all the various different other junk that's going on. Um, various things with the economy, various things with politics, the divisions in our country, all the other things. The truth is that there's a lot of folks that are discouraged about real estate investment now. That's right. They're looking at the market. The homes keep going up and up and up. Um, there's things with with. Uh, people having trouble getting into homes, even with the, the low interest rates and different things, with prices and all that stuff. Now is the perfect time to go out and not look at homes that are listed with real estate agents, 
but to go out and use the 76 different ways to find properties Ooh. that are not real estate investment or not real estate agents. Mm. Okay, see, I, I don't know if you noticed this when you went through the materials, Shanae, but the 76 different ways to find properties, only one is using a real estate agent. Come on. The other 75 have nothing to do with the real estate agent. Yeah. See, that's what we teach you. We teach you ways that don't have anything to do with the real estate. I mean, there's nothing wrong with real estate agents. Please don't hear me uh, say that real estate agents are bad. They're not bad. A couple of my best friends in the whole world are real estate agents. And I tease them and they tease me and it's fine. Okay. <laughs> but understand that if you want to pay full retail for a house, you, you go to a real estate agent. But we're real estate investors. The one cardinal rule that we can't violate is we can't pay full retail for a real estate investment <laughs> because that means that somebody else has sucked all the profit out of it. That's right. So we've got to find out and figure out and know how to not pay full retail for a property. Well, that's what the, the 76 ways to find properties that we're going to teach you is all about, is not paying full retail for a property. Right. And you've got to know those different ways. Now, some of them are just plain common sense. In fact, most of them are. But if you don't know about them and you don't think about them and you don't implement them, then you're stuck with paying full retail through a real estate agent. And, you know, and that's not acceptable. So the, the point is, uh, back to your question, Shanae, now's a terrific time because there are so many people that are discouraged in the market and there are so many people that have just given up on the market that now's a great time for those of us who are willing to press forward and move forward and keep going and not give up because there's more opportunity now than there's ever been, even though if you listen to the internet and the people on the TV and everywhere else, it's all, oh, gloom and doom, it's terrible, awful. Well, that's even better for those of us who are willing to persist Come and on. say, we're not gonna give up, we're just gonna go out and do, because those people have given up and they're not gonna go do. That's We're it. not going to take no and go away for an answer. We're going to go out and do That's it. because we know what to do. That's it. <laughs> and many of those folks, unfortunately, don't know what to do. But those right. of us who do know what to do, we can go out and make it happen yeah. because we're not going to give up. Well, man. That's what, you know, is the absolute best time. And you know what? Another thing, too, we talk about different ways to find money for your favorite strategy, Shanae. Uh, of fix and flip, there's more private lenders now than there ever have been. There's more money available for real estate investment than there ever has been. Why? Well, think about it. What's the return on putting your money in a bank savings account or putting your money in a certificate of deposit or putting your money in <laughs> treasury securities, T-bills, T-bonds, T-notes? It's terrible, right? Yeah. So people with lots of money are looking around and they're going, well, I can only get one half of 1% or 1% of my money at the bank? That's terrible. I can't live on that. What am I going to do? <clears throat> and you know what the answer to that question is, Shanae? I'm going to loan it to Shanae for her fix and flip investment. And she'll pay me for 5 or 6%. Wow. Mm. That's why, that's one of the myriad of reasons why now is the absolute best time to invest in real estate. Yeah, no, that's a short answer that. to your question, Shanae, but um, there's lots of other answers too. Yeah, yeah. I know Robert Kiyosaki always talks about how the Chinese character for crisis involves two characters. One is the character right. of danger. And opportunity. And opportunity. So when we see these, you know, uh, massive kinds of like uh, things starting to happen in the housing market where they're putting in things that keep people from getting evicted or they're putting, they're staving off the inevitable folks. There's going to be an incredible wealth transfer that's about to happen. Would you agree with that, Mr. Bell? Absolutely. And you got to decide which side you're going to be on. <laughs> Are you going to be on the one that is transferred away from or the one that is transferred to? The middle class. I'll be on the side that is transferred to. I've made a choice. I've made a choice. And I, I definitely could have said that better. Uh, with that being said, if you're on the webinar tonight, I want you to go ahead and get started. You can visit the person's website that referred you. 
Mr. Bell and his team, this is sort of like an inaugural program. They don't have the space for everybody, not even everybody. We told them how many people had registered for this. They was like, that's too many. I was like, well, no, nah, we didn't even get started yet. And then the next day, it almost tripled, <laughs> okay? But when we had the first amount of people, I think the first hundred, Brad and Tim started being like, whoa, well, well that's too many. We're not going to be able to. I'm saying that to say this. You want to get signed up now if you want to, one, take advantage uh, take advantage of this limited time offer. And then, two, if you want to be part of that inaugural group uh, that, that, that we create all the testimonies from, this would be your time to get involved.